Okay, so now we have everything we need and we're going to get started with putting the seeds from a tomato in these solo cups here. And you need to just push a hole about fourth of an inch deep. And if you see the cat, it's because she does everything that I do and she loves being here. And we put two holes in each because we're gonna plant at least two seeds in each cup. And then we will separate them when we put them in the raised flower beds outside in a few weeks once they sprout. In the bottom of each cup, we did punch three holes for drainage, which you can see here. And the seeds are really small. Once uh, the tomato, once it dries out, we put it on a paper towel and dried it out a few weeks ago. We split it open, just pull the seeds out. Watch out, pretty girl. And you just drop your seeds in and then push them in there. And we're gonna water them just with some bottled water, which is actually tap water that we let sit for a few days. And we're going to put each cup inside. These are in a recycled holder for, um, you know, when you go get fast food and they give you the drinks. So that way the water doesn't spill out. And we just water each so that it stays moist. You can cover it with a bag to keep the moisture in as if in a terrarium type environment or greenhouse. And there you have it. Getting started with our tomato seeds so we can have some tomatoes this summer. It takes about a hundred and twenty days to actually get the tomatoes. So we'll see you in a few weeks. And next time we'll be putting our lavender seeds in the cup. This cup. Recycled ice drink cup. And we'll be putting the cover on that's over here on the side in order to keep the moisture in there. Thanks, and don't forget to click like below if you enjoyed this video. Gardening with Bonnie.